And moving on to Bielsa State, uh, some stakeholders have appraised Governor Doyajiri's two years in office. They spoke on security and infrastructural developments in the state, saying that government has performed beyond the expectations of residents. Our correspondent, Jesse S.A., has details. Governor Doye Diri will mark two years in office on February 14. While the state government has kick-started activities for its second anniversary, some residents speak on the governor's strides on road infrastructure. Some roads that are ongoing and some are finished already. So if he has walked this level of the senatorial district roads, Membe, Brass, and then Okuruma, Yanegua, and then this um, Sab Sabama Ikerimo Road, if he has achieved these heights in two years compared to what other people have done in the past, I think the, the governor is trying to... The use of transportation to Ikerimo cannot be overemphasized because if you want to go to Ikerimo, you will pass all the way from Delta before you enter Speedboat, before you go to the community. The Anangua Okoroma Road that got to Angama Road draws a thing and you know the importance of road. Road brings development, road visually bring everything. On security, they say there has been great improvement since the current administration came on board. Two years before now, we can walk freely in Tumbia by 8 in the evening without being harassed by woodlums. But today, if you go to Tombia roundabout, even at 11 o'clock, you see people walking freely. If you also go to Swali, you see that the same thing is happening in Swali. Even within the streets, there are lights, street lights in some streets, which are giving birth to street vigilantes. In terms of security, it has done well. We all know what was happening every December. You cannot <laughs> sleep with your two eyes uh, closed, but this is December because of the the vehicles he bought. The, the whole December, he didn't hear any incident of uh, security. However, a former member of the State House of Assembly, Fonny Williams, has a different point of view. The security situation is unabated in Nagua. Barely about uh, three weeks ago, there is a man that is kidnapped in Ogbuya main town. Barely two weeks ago, Federal Authority was kidnapped. Barely two weeks ago, another citizen was kidnapped in Dimro Street, right inside the state capital. What is happening? The security measures that are on ground are not yielding results because the government of the day is seeing security as a physical exercise, provision of vehicles and maybe providing logistics for security apparatus. Security has gone beyond that. So the government should give up to its responsibility. He also advises the government to focus on how to provide jobs, power and portable drinking water for residents as there has been no public water supply since 2013. Jesse Yese, Plus TV News, Yenagua. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.